This is lesson 8.4 on solving logarithmic equations. Um, we're going to look at the logarithmic property of equality. So if we have log base a of x equals log base a of y, then we know x equals y. Oops, I lost my x equals y. So we take the, uh, when they have the same base, we can take the um, x and the y and equal to each other. Okay, so let's look at method one. We're going to look at two methods today. Method one is exponential form. We're going to use this method when there is a logarithm only on one side, and that's kind of important to highlight, only on one side. Okay, so we would look at it as log of x equals y. All right, and here are the steps. First, we're going to condense logarithms so there's only a logarithm on one side of the equation. So you only want one on one side. You don't want like log of x plus log of 2 equals y. Okay, um, you just need to have one single log. Convert the equation to exponential form and then solve for x. And of course, we need to check for extraneous solutions. <coughs> okay, letter A. Log base 4 of x equals 3. We can identify that there is just a log on one side. So we can then go to step two, convert to exponential form. So we'll write it as four to the third equals x. And we know then that x will equal 64. And we want to substitute that in. Log base four of 64 equals three. And we can confirm that yes, this does equal three and this equals three. So it is um, correct and there is no extraneous solution. Okay. To save some time, I'm not going to check every single one of these um, for the exchange solution. You should check because I'll check the one that when there isn't, um, so you can kind of see what it would look like. Um, but just know that it is important to check because sometimes they will not come out um, as a they'll come out as an extraneous solution. So you want to check that. Letter B. Um, we have again one log on one side, so we can go right to step two, right as an exponential, so two to the third equals x minus 6 and then we can solve we have 8 equals x minus 6 we can add 8 or add 6 and 2 8 and x equals 14 and you'll check and that one does does check out okay letter C um, I am going to have to um, rewrite this as um, or not rewrite, I'm sorry, I'm going to divide by 4. You could move it up here, but that would just end up being um, a little more work. So let's divide by 4. We'll have log base 7 of negative x equals 2. And then we can rewrite it into exponential form. So we have 7 squared equals negative x. And we'll divide by negative 1. We know this is going to be 49. So 49 divided by negative 1 is negative 49 equals x. And again, this will check out. Okay, letter D, still on the same method. Um, <clears throat> we're going to, we notice that we have two logs over here, and we can only have one in order to write it into exponential form. So I'm going to use my properties of logs, and I know addition is going to mean I'm going to multiply both these. So I'll have log base 2 of x plus 2 times x minus 5 equals 3. And now I can write it into exponential form. So I'll have 2 cubed equals x plus 2 times x minus 5. And you can see I'm going to have to foil here and um, get everything on one side to do um, factoring. Right? We're going to find, end up with a quadratic. So I'll have 8 equals my first. I'm going to my outers is negative 5. Inners is 2x. So I'll have negative 3x minus 10. I'm going to move the 8 over. So I have 0 equals x squared minus 3x minus 18, which will factor to x minus 6 times x plus 3. So x will equal 6 and um, negative 3. All right, and I want to substitute these back in. And I'm going to substitute um, in the 6 will work. Okay, so when I substitute in that, it's going to work, but let me substitute in um, negative 3 and see what happens here. Log base 2 of um, negative 3 plus 2. Okay, I'm substituting 2 into the original, plus log base 2 of negative 3 minus 5 equals 3. 
Okay, I'm going to do log of 2, I'm sorry, log base 2 of negative 1 plus log base 2 of negative 8 equals 3. Okay, this is where I'm going to have to stop. And if you type this into your calculator, you're going to see something, it's not going to work. And what happens is we cannot take the log of a negative number. Okay, so cannot take the log of a negative number. Okay, so once we know we're doing log base 2 of a negative, okay, we, that is not possible. 2 to some power will not give me negative 1. Um, therefore, the negative 3 does not work, so we can cross that one off. And so only 6 is our solution. Negative 3 is the extraneous solution. Okay, that is method 2. I mean, I'm sorry, that was method 1. Let's move on to method 2. I'm going to change colors here. Use some colors we don't really get to use very often because it won't show on the whiteboard. How about that color? Okay, method 2. Um, use this method. So this is the logarithmic property of equality. The last method one was exponential form. And we're going to use this method when there is a logarithm on both sides of the equation. Okay, so you'd have like a log x equals a log y. We're going to condense logarithms so there's only one logarithm on each side of the equation. And then we can apply the property of equality and solve for x. Okay. And then, of course, check for extraneous solutions. All right, so I have a log of both sides, and this, they have the same base, so I can literally just do 16 equals negative 4x. Divide by negative 4, x equals negative 4. Again, I will substitute into the original, and it will check out. And mainly when you're doing this, you just want to be checking that you're not taking log of a negative, and it should, um, for the most part, work <coughs> besides that situation. Letter F, again, I do have two logs that are equal to each other, and they have the same base of 4. So I'm going to do 5x minus 6 equals negative, oops, negative 2x plus 8. And we're just solving a multi-step equation. So add my 2x, I get 7x. Add 6, I get 14. So x will equal 2. And again, this will check out. Okay, moving on to the next page. All right, now I have a situation where I have more than one log on um, this side. I need to condense it, and I know this is addition, so I'm going to use my um, product property. So I'll have log base 9 of x plus 23 times x. <clears throat> um, equals log base 9 of 50. <coughs> okay, so I will end up with equaling these to each other. So I'll have x squared plus 23x equals 50, right? Because I have it as one log here and one log here. Put it all on one side to factor. And I will factor to be x plus 25 times x minus 2 equals, oops, equals 0. So x equals negative 25 and 2. And in this case, <clears throat> when we substitute in the negative 25, it will be extraneous because we'll be taking the log, it'll end up being like log 9 of negative 2, and we'll say we can't do that. So negative 25 will not be a solution, and only 2 will be our answer. Okay, a couple more. Okay, now we have the natural log. Natural log and, and, the, and the common log are, operate the same. Um, so it's not anything different. And in this case, we need to condense. So this has to um, <coughs> distribute this here first. So we have natural log of negative 2x minus natural log of 4, because 2 squared is 4, equals natural log of 36. Now I can condense. We know this is going to be division. So I have natural log of negative 2x over 4 equals natural log of 36. I'll equal them to each other, and I'll get negative 1 half x equals 36. I'm going to multiply by negative 2. 
and I'm going to get x equals negative 72. Okay. And I will substitute it in, and it will check out. Letter I. Last one. Condense these, so I'm going to have log 7 of x plus 9 times x plus 14, again using my product property, equals log 736. Okay, and I'm going to now equal them to each other, so I have, I'm going to actually FOIL at the same time, so I'll have x squared, outers, inners will give me 23x, last will give me uh, a big number, 126, equals 36. I subtract my 36, I have x squared plus 23x, and I'll get plus 90 equals 0, and I must factor that. It comes out to x plus 15 times x plus 18 equals 0. x will equal negative 5 and negative 18. We'll substitute both in, and negative 5 does work. Let's substitute a negative 18 so we can again give an example of why this does not work. So log base 7, negative 18 plus 9, plus log base 7 of negative 18 plus 14. I don't even need to write equals because I already know right here this is going to be a negative. This is even going to be a negative, so it is not possible. That will not be a solution. Okay, that is lesson um, 8.4.